Carlos, can I start now? Okay, we're live. Mr. Augustine, case manager for Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center, is going to lead this one today. We ready, Mr. Augustine? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Carlos. Yes, I'm ready to share uh, about Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center to our new students. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Carlos. Uh, I see a lot of you here virtually. I would like to give you a warm welcome to our new students here in Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. Before we continue, I would advise you to please click the attendance button that is found in the chat box. Write your name and the name of your teacher. We check attendance, okay? So click the link for the attendance at the chat box, and then you have to write your name and the name of your teacher. Thank you. Okay, so to start with, um, there are some ground rules that you need to follow. For this meeting, we're going to focus on the school, especially on our programs of BE, Basic Education, and ESL. And then we're going to discuss about the D79 email. Why D79? We're going to discuss about dress code as well. Okay. And we're going to discuss about the task leading to your HSE. We are playing some words here before it used to be called GED, but now it's called task. Uh, we are going to discuss about schedules and registrations as well. Again, I would like to reiterate that please click the link for the attendance because we check attendance, write your name and the name of your teacher. Thank you. Welcome to Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. We believe in the five P's, P to the fifth power, passion, patience, perseverance, persistence, possibilities. These are the formula of success in our schools. When we say passion, we're talking about something that you love, something that you are passionate about, and something that you uh, dream to accomplish. We talk about patience when we say patience, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about uh, even though there are delays, there are some troubles, family problems. We have problems at work. We have problems in school. We still continue. We move on. We persevere. We persist. And if we apply passion, patience, perseverance and persistence possibilities come true. That's why Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center is a place for your dreams to be realized, for your dreams to come true. Okay? So again, the five formulas for success for our students, passion, patience, perseverance, persistence, possibilities. This will make magic, passion, patience, perseverance, persistence, and possibilities, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Uh, Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center is an adult education of District 79. This is under the umbrella of New York City Department of Education. Okay? Uh, our school is located at 212 West. 120th Street in Harlem, New York City. Our phone number is 212-666-1919. You might want to take down the number because if there are some inquiries or some questions that you need to ask, this is the right number, ladies and gentlemen. 212-666-1919. Okay? Write that down in your notes or put down in your phone, okay? We are close to trains at 125th Street and buses. You won't get lost, okay? So you should see here, see here some landmarks. West 125th Street. If you take the train, 
the C train, the A train, and the D train from the Bronx or from Brooklyn get down at West 125th Street and go down all the way to West 120th Street, turn right, and you will be able to find Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. Okay? Our students enjoy trips museum visits we have special guest speakers as well we have family health fairs and information on career opportunities we give the best for our students okay so uh, while you are here enjoy all the benefits and all the programs that we offer to our students <clears throat> The only requirements to be here at Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center is you are supposed to be 21 years old or older. You may be 90 years old. We are still accept we still accept you are still welcome as you are as long as you are able to walk, as long as you're able to interact and come to our school. Age doesn't matter as long as you are over 21 years old and you live in one of the five boroughs of new york city what are the five boroughs of new york city <clears throat> staten island we have brooklyn we have manhattan we have the bronx and the queens it's here uh but it looks very small though it's staten island brooklyn queens the bronx and manhattan if you live within these four five boroughs then you are qualified to be in our school and you are over 21 years old, okay? <clears throat> our basic education for task preparation, uh, TAS, we are playing with names, acronyms here. TAS stands for Test Assessing Secondary Completion Preparations. We have ESL, English as a Second Language, and CTE. CTE stands for Career Technical Education Classes. These are held at different times on different days. Please take note of our schedule. And there are some revisions here, I suppose. Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So those, those are full days. 8.30 in the morning, you should be in school already. And then you leave the school at 2.30. Monday to Friday, the other schedule here, Monday to Friday, 9 in the morning to 12 p.m. Those who are working in the afternoon, this could be the best schedule for you. Monday to Friday, 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. Tuesday to Thursday, 5.40 to 9 p.m. Tuesday, I mean Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's not only two days. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 5.40 to 9 p.m. We also have Saturday classes for uh, both uh, BE and for both BE and <clears throat> ESL. Uh, there is a revision to this. We already have an evening classes. Evening classes, those who are working during the day, we have evening classes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 6.15 to 9 o'clock. That is an added to the agenda for our schedule, okay? You might want to register. We have the flyers. And if you want to register, we will place you in our classes. Uh, before I forgot, ladies and gentlemen, if you have some questions, please don't hesitate to uh, type your question in the chat box and we will answer them after the presentations. Okay. Justin, can I interrupt you for one moment? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, so uh, just to let everyone know, I also put this on the banner on the bottom of the screen. Uh -huh. uh, this is an orientation for students who have not attended an orientation yet. So I'm stressing this because I do see a lot of people who have been with the program for some time. You are welcome to stay for the orientation if there's information that you need. But just to let everyone know, if you've already attended an orientation, um, you do not have to sit through this presentation. You, you know, you uh, can excuse yourself if you need to. 
but this is geared towards people who are brand new to the program. Okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, also, please don't forget about the attendance. Um, the attendance, you have to follow the link in the chat box, right? I'll fill out the survey. And uh, when you do that, your attendance is counted for. All right. So sorry about that, Mr. Augustin. Just wanted to. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. This this orientation is really for our new students. But uh, if you like some added information, as Mr. Carlos said a while ago, please stay. Okay. We'd love you to be here. But otherwise, this is for our new students. Thank you. Uh, so these are our schedules. You might want to take note of these schedules, okay? Because these schedules are tailored for our students and working students especially. Okay, now before you are going to be in the classroom and before the case managers will place you, you have to be registered first. And registration is easy. It's as easy as one, two, three, and A, B, C, D, E, okay? So how do we register? So this is the inquiry form. This is the first page of the registration form for the fall. And then we will be asking some demographic questions where you write your name. On the second page of these registrations, it will ask you uh, what schedule do you want to, who recommended you, uh, what is the schedule that you want, okay? And uh, from there, we will be able to enroll you depending upon what uh, schedule you want. Okay, now we go to the next, how to set up your D79 email account and how to navigate Google Classrooms. The D79 email account is for all our students. Your D79 is where we forward all activities, assignments in your Google Classrooms. So all of you have your D79 account already. Okay, let me play the video, ladies and gentlemen, and you can hear Mr. Rosas, you can hear Mr. Rosas. Hold on, there's something, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry because I'm just I'm just trying to navigate these slides. If you are watching this video, you have probably been accepted into a class at Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center for the fall 2020 semester. Please watch this video for some instructions on how to navigate your class. Please note that these instructions are for students who are using a desktop computer, a laptop computer, or a tablet. Though instructions specific to cell phones begin at the seven minute mark, I would encourage students to view this video in its entirety as it contains information that is useful for students, regardless of which device they are using. You received an email that looks like this. This email will tell you your class schedule along with your teacher's name. Highlighted in yellow, you're going to see an email address for what's called your D79 account. Please note that your teacher is going to be communicating with you through your D79 account. So I'm going to explain to you how to set up that account. The first thing you need to do is go to google.com on your browser. When you get to Google, you may notice in the upper right hand corner a blue box with the words sign in. Please click on that box if you see it in the upper. You may already. If you do, you may notice 
that in the upper right hand corner, instead of seeing a blue button with the words sign in, there will be a colored circle with a letter in the middle. If you see this in the upper right hand corner, please click on the colored circle. Once you click on the colored circle, a drop down menu should appear. One of the options on this drop down menu should be the option to add another account. Please click on this option. Whether you've clicked on the blue sign in button or on the colored circle in the upper right hand side of the screen, you should now see a log in screen. You will be asked to log in with your username. Your username is highlighted in yellow in the first email that was sent to you by Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. It would probably be made up of your first name, a dot, your last name, at d-79.com. This is just like logging into any other Gmail address account. Next, the computer will ask you to enter your password. If this is your first time logging in to your D79 account, your default password will be Google123. Please make sure that the first G in Google is capitalized and that there are no spaces between any of the characters. Then click Next. On this screen, you will be asked to accept the terms and conditions of these services provided by Google. You must accept these terms if you are going to participate in a class. Please be rest assured that your privacy and your information is safe and will not be shared with a third party. Next, you will be prompted to create a brand new password, one that only you know. The staff and teachers of Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center will not have access to this password at all. So please be advised to use a password that you will remember easily and one that you will have accessible at all times. Now you should be able to access your D79 email. Please remember that this email is not to be confused with your personal. Gmail account. Anytime your teacher corresponds with you, they will be contacting you via your D79 email. So it is very important that when you log in, you make sure that you are logged in on your D79 account. You want to be on the lookout for an email that's titled class invitation. When you see this email, please click on it. When you open your class invitation, you should see your teacher's name and a blue button with the word join. Please click on the blue button that says join and you will be directed to your Google Classroom. In the next part of this video, I will explain to you how to navigate your Google Classroom. This is what your Google Classroom will look like. It's very important that you report to your Google Classroom on the appointed day and times that your classes meet. When you arrive to your Google Class, make sure that you click on the Meet link. This is where the teachers will meet with the students virtually. After your first day of class, you may find that the easiest way to access your Google Classroom is to go to google.com directly then in the upper right hand corner click on the nine dots known as the waffle that will give you a drop down menu when you see the drop down menu you can scroll down and select the google classroom that will give you a more direct link to your teacher's classroom don't forget that you must be logged into your d79 account any time that you are ready to go into a classroom. Without logging into the D79 account, 
you will not have access to your Google Classroom. This next section of the video is for those students who are accessing their D79 account and Google Classroom by their cell phone, be it an iPhone or a Samsung. The very first step you want to make is to find the Gmail icon on your smartphone. It's a standard icon that comes with most iPhones and Samsungs alike. You can click on that. If you do not have a Gmail account, this should be a fairly simple procedure for you. All you have to do is log in with the D79 username and password. If you already have a Gmail account that is linked to your cell phone, the process is a little bit more involved. Once you click on your Gmail icon, in the upper right hand corner, you should see a colored circle like the one pointed out in this clip. Click on that colored circle. A drop down menu should appear that will give you the option to add another account. You can click on add another account and then log in with your D79 username and password. Any student who is participating in a class through a smartphone or a tablet is strongly encouraged to download the Google Classroom app. You can go to Google, enter Google Classroom in the search engine, and you should find the link to download or install the Google Classroom app onto your cell phone or onto your tablet. You'll find that this will simplify the experience of participating in the class. We at Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center recognize that this is a challenging time and a challenging way to participate in classes. If you have any questions or concerns regarding any of the processes discussed in this video, feel free to email your case manager or your teacher. Their email addresses can be found on the initial email that was sent to you from Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. We hope to provide you with a positive and pleasant learning experience in this most trying time. Thank you, Mr. Rosas. That was very informative. Um, again, as Mr. Carlos said, Mr. Rosas said, if you have some doubts still or questions or difficulties in entering into your Google Classroom, do not hesitate to email your case managers or your teachers. We are here to help you, okay? Um, it's very important that you have a personal Gmail account. If you have a personal Gmail account, sign out of it completely, or you will not be able to get into your D79 email account. Say, for example, I have a personal Gmail, jagustin2003 at gmail.com. I have to sign out in that email first before I can get into my D79 email account. A lot of times students said, Mr. Augustine, Mr. Rosas, I cannot enter into my D79 only to find out that uh, they have not logged out into their D79, into their Gmail personal account. Okay. The state mandates that all of our students have the 79 email account. So that's why we are giving you the 79 email account. Now we go to our adult basic educations. The road to obtaining your task. Okay. HSE equivalency diploma. This year, there are many additional ways to obtain your task diploma. OACE offers four different pathways. First, the task five subtests, reading, writing, which includes essay, math, science, and social studies. These are the five subtests of the task. You should be able to pass all these before you will get your high school diploma. 24 college credits. 
Somewhere in high school, you might have taken AP classes, advanced placements, and these are college credits. If you have 24 college credits, it's possible that you will apply for your TAS diploma. Uh, GED passing scores from 2003 to 2013. You were able to pass some parts of your TAS within this year, 2003 to 2013. And this can also be credited in your task. Another, this is the recent addition, recent region sport pathway. Student may use a passing New York City DOE region score in place of a task subtest. And you should be able to pass the test with a 65% or higher. Okay, those who were in high school, you had taken some regions exam in science, math, social studies, and ELA, and you know you passed them. In your transcript of records, it shows that you have 65% or higher. Then we can credit that for your task. Have you taken the GED already? Did you pass any parts? If you did, Please raise your hand. I see several hands being raised. Thank you. So we can help you apply the GED subtest towards receiving your HSE diploma. The region sport pathway. Do you believe that you pass any regions when you attended high school? Raise your hand. I see hands being raised. So we can help you apply the regions exam towards receiving your task. HSE diploma. Uh, this is this is I consider this a blessing. Receive an HSE waiver. So you are eligible for the waiver if you have already passed three or four subtests subjects on the task or GED test. Though you pass already the three or four subjects. The second bullet says you complete the necessary academic work in your class. You still have to attend classes, ladies and gentlemen. You need to attend your class and you need to fill up your attendance still. Okay? And then the third bullet says you remain enrolled in class until the waiver is going to be granted to you. Receive credit for passing regions exams. Passing scores from regions exam taken in high school must be, may be substituted for corresponding task subject. The regions ELA exam, English, uh, English language arts exam, may be used in place of both the reading and writing task subjects. Don't forget, attendance is important, ladies and gentlemen. When you log into your Google Classroom, you must fill out your daily attendance. That's the first thing you should do. Before synchronous or asynchronous, you need to fill up the attendance. You should be counted, okay? So uh, go into the Google Classroom, let your name be counted, sign in into the attendance. Attendance is very important. We request that if you commit to attending a class, you give it all, you give it your all. You should be in a class for every class session, for the entire session. So if your schedule, for example, is uh, 9 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock, you should be within that entire session. If you have an occasional appointment, please let your teacher know you will be absent. Um, there are things that may happen. Life may happen, you know. There are some circumstances that it's beyond your capacity to attend to come to school. Uh, there are some emergencies in the house. There are some emergencies in your family, emergency in your work, okay? Let your teacher know. Teacher, I'm going to be absent on this particular day. I have a doctor's appointment. Email your teacher. Please let us know that you're going to be absent, okay? So uh, we will not be worried about you. You are a member of our family. 
you must also complete what is called the work time record provided by your teacher bi-weekly. The purpose of this document is to give you credit for the work you complete. This is just the first page, first page of these record sheets. The second page could, uh, you could see here your name, the also the works that you did. You have to fill this form and your teacher will have to give this form to you and you have to fill it out, okay? Dress code. We have here examples, suggested dress codes that we are going to use. The school is a formal learning environment. So we have to wear formal attires. We are not wearing PJs, ladies and gentlemen, or pajamas when we come to when we come for virtual uh, classes. Okay, these are some examples here. Recommended dress code. Clothing is appropriate for the virtual classroom, like polo shirts, button down shirts, blouses, t-shirts, sweatshirts, or sleeveless dresses or shirts with straps no less than three inches wide. Our students are still expected to dress appropriately during their virtual classes. The following dress code will apply. Students will wear a t-shirt, polo shirt, sweatshirt. Students will wear appropriate shorts, especially during the summer. It might be very, very warm. We can, you can use appropriate shorts, it says there, okay? Pants or skirts. Sweats in good conditions are allowed. Mid Manhattan Learning Center offers many workshops and podcasts to meet the needs of our students. We, he, we hope to see you there. Okay, now we are ready to answer questions. Uh, Mr. Rosses. Okay, Mr. Augustin, thank you so much for uh, that orientation, all that information, uh, very important information. Uh, just another reminder, um, attendance is important. So there is the link to the Google Docs, which I kept on um, posting over and over in the chat section over here. And you'll see it if you uh, go into the chat box. Uh, there's about 17 people watching this presentation right now and only three have filled out the survey. So if you are attending orientation for the first time, please go to the chat box. Please click on that link. Please fill out the survey. That's how we do the attendance. It saves right. us a lot of time, a lot of trouble. Even if you already identified yourself in the chat section, um, that's great and it helps, but it makes life so much easier for everybody involved in the organization of um, these uh, orientations if you click on the link to the survey and fill out the attendance. So please fill out that attendance. Um, in terms of questions, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Asmaret Zem, uh, Zemariam asked, hello, uh, my name is Asmaret uh, Say, is this for any class? Um, to which I responded, yes, this applies to just about all classes. Uh -huh. um, but uh, this is something that we should probably bring up now because maybe um, not all of our students are aware of this, but uh, Mr. Augustin, it, it, is it true that we are returning to some face-to-face -face classes? Face-to-face um, -face classes, there is a mandate from the DOE that we are coming back to school on March 22. March 22. Okay, so the case managers uh, had uh, emailed those students who opted to have the remote. Those who opted to have the face in person, you are expected to come to school on March 22 as mandated by the NYC DOE. And just for the sake of those who are watching um, this orientation, a couple things you should know. Number one, if you are fully remote and you would like to um, take what's called the blended class, which means you do certain days online, 
certain days live in person, um, you do have the option to do that. Conversely, if you are in a class that is purely remote, um, but your teacher is talking about going back to teach some classes live during the week, and you say to yourself, you know what, that's great, but I'd much rather stay at home. You have to let your teacher know that. That teacher in turn will let the case managers know, and we in turn will reassign you to a teacher right. who is uh, 100% remote. Right, right. So you will not miss a chance. Uh, if you want to go remote, we we honor that kind of request. We give you the teacher who handles the remote classes. But if you want to exercise and go to our school and meet our uh, meet your teachers in person, uh, we give you also the opportunity to do that. Mr. Carlos, we have a lot of uh, comments in the chat. Yeah, let's take a look here. Johanna Fontanez as hi. I don't have to sign in the attendance sheet. Yes, for the love of sweet baby Jesus, please do. <laughs> it just makes life so much easier. Right, and that's right. Anybody else who's wondering the same thing? Because maybe Johanna is the only person that actually <laughs> asked the question in the chat section. Yes, please sign okay. in. The, uh, in the sign-in sheet. It just makes life so much easier for us. I, I see. I see a lot of students did not fill up the attendance sheets. They just write their names and the name of the teacher. That's nice, but then it would be nice also. It would be nicer and easier for us to follow up uh, if you could fill up the link. Mm -hmm. right. right. So going back to what we were talking about just a few minutes ago, for those of you who are not sure whether or not you should return to the building, that is your choice. We understand if you are a little resident to, uh, uh, reticent to return to the building. Um, please know we have a very good um, maintenance crew, and they are making it their business to make sure that the classrooms are wiped down, that everything is sanitized right. um, as a precaution to, uh, to uh, prevent the spread of risk of COVID. Yeah, added to what Mr. Carlos is saying, we still, when you go to the to the building, we still uh, follow protocols for um, health health protocols. I mean, we are going to follow uh, social distancing. You will be wearing masks still. Okay, there will be sanitizer all over the place, and then uh, there will be nine students per class. Okay, to avoid uh, the spread of the virus we ensure that you're going to be safe there okay um we have a lot of attendees mr carlos but as i said a while ago they have not filled up the attendance form so i'm just going to keep that banner at the bottom of the screen please click on the attendance link in the chat section it is there it's also in the description box this might be a good time to remind all of our viewers that tomorrow we have a podcast a special guest from Cornell University. He is a vegan chef, and he's going to be um, cooking live on the air nice. with a staff member and with a student. It's going to be a cook-off. Uh -huh. I, can't I can't wait for that, Mr. Rosas. I think it's going to be hosted by Miss Sula Haska. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be a very, uh, very nice opportunity if you want to learn how to cook vegan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to be a vegan. Um, this could just be yeah something that's very healthy, right? Okay. So, here, um, Johanna Fontana is for some reason I need permission to the attendance page because it's not letting me sign in. Oh, that might be the problem. Why there is some. We're not able to fill up the attendance form. I have one thing to say in response to that, and that is <laughs> that's my response. So, <laughs> anybody who is having trouble logging in, we're gonna have to go old school for now. If you are having trouble logging in, um, just make sure that your name and that your teacher's name are in the chat section so that we can 
keep your attendance uh, into account. Now, it's not everybody's having that same issue because a couple of students have been able to fill out the attendance. I'm not sure why that might be. Um, I'll see if I can handle the problem on this end. But at the very least, if nothing else, make sure your name and your teacher's name appear in the chat section. I think um, it's 12 o'clock. So it's not true for again, all. The uh, sign in. Let me see. Didi Sedano is having the same issue as Johanna. So again, uh, Didi, just please make sure you have your name and your teacher's name um, in the chat section. If uh, we cannot fix the link, I think uh, we have somebody trying to work on that right now. Um, Jen Sedano, is this sign-in sheet the same as the attendance form on the classroom app? No, it is not. This is a totally different attendance sheet. This is an attendance sheet for today's orientation. Okay. Um, so yes, going back to tomorrow's podcast, uh, 1115, um, there is a link, or at least there should be one in the classroom, um, where you can get the ingredients, uh, well in advance. What I'll also do is I'll post the ingredients, um, in the chat section in the event that anybody would like to get a copy of the ingredients in advance, if you want to cook along with us, um, not very expensive. This would maybe cost if you go to a green cart, which there are green carts all around the city at this point, um, you might be able to get all these ingredients for maybe five or six dollars. Um, and you know, you'll have dinner for maybe two days. Right. So, you know, why not? Definitely a, um, Mr. Rosas, you're talking to me because I need to be more healthy, you know. Uh, uh -huh. I need to eat healthy. <laughs> you're going to be traveling yeah. tomorrow, Joe, for the, uh, for the yeah. podcast? Yeah, I, I will be there. I will be there for sure. All right. All right. So I am posting the well, the link to the ingredients in the chat section on the right. And, uh, yeah. It would be great if you could all join us. I certainly don't see why not. It's actually two different files. I think I just messed up. So here's one. Okay. Okay. And here's the other. So I'm posting them both in the, uh, the chat section below. Yeah, we still give you time, ladies and gentlemen, our new students to fill up the attendance form. Mr. Rosas, just place here the link on the chat. So click that and write your name, please, and your teacher. Okay. Um, I'm going to remove myself from the feed for a moment just to see if we've got this attendance thing figured out. So, Joel, if you could just kind of take the floor for a minute or two, all right? Right. Okay. Okay. So um, as Mr. Carlos said a while ago, it's important that you need to fill up the attendance because this is where we get funding, okay? So fill up the attendance, write your name and the name of your teacher. Mr. Rosas is out of the picture for a while to try to navigate the problem where the problem is, okay? Hopefully that uh, before we end up this orientation meeting, you will be able to f fill up your name. Okay, so here we have, uh, as Meret Semeriam said, I like face-to-face -face if possible. Oh, I understand you very well. I like face-to-face -face as well. So um, we emailed students, if you are undergoing remote, if you would like to have a remote classes, we emailed you and your teacher. If you want to have a face-to-face, are given a teacher also who will do the in-person in-person training okay johanna Monta fontanes said sorry i'm new i don't have a teacher assigned i was only sent this orientation so johanna if you don't have a teacher yet i'm going to send you the flyer i'm going to send you the registration form and register and i'm going to give you a teacher all right. So if you are a BE or an ESL students, please specify in the registration form and I'm going to assign you a teacher. 
As Merit si Miriam said, I'm trying to but cannot. I cannot. Mr. Rosas is trying to navigate on how to possibly um, write your name in the attendance. Okay, I think I figured it out. It seems that the issue is that if you're not logged into Google right now with your D79 account, um, that's why some of you might not be able to, uh, to enter your attendance. So if you're not logged in with D79, um, right, it's kind of late because, you know, we're almost ready to end the orientation. Um, but at the very least, put your name and your teacher's name in the chat section. Um, and for the future, whenever we have um, any presentations on YouTube and we need to take attendance, please make sure you're logged in with your D79. I'm going to see there's, there is a way to fix the account such that you can fill out the uh, survey even if you're not logged in with a certain um, account. But right now it's kind of late to do that. So uh, Bianca Green asked the same question. Uh, Mr. Rosas, do I have to do the same thing? Um, if you can, we would appreciate it. If you're logged into D79, please click on the uh, on the link, fill out the survey. But if not, at the very least, we have your name here. Make sure your teacher's name also appears in the chat section. Okay. Uh, Kalia, I am. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm reading the wrong thing. Uh, you have to log in with D79. Yes, Kalia. Thank you for. Um, for uh, sharing that with us, right? Sir Carlos, some somebody made uh, um, made a success in fill up, filling up the attendance. Kalia, I completed the attendance. Good, good, right. awesome. So that means to say the attendance is working. The attendance link is working. Yeah, you just have to be logged in with these seven nine. But again, we can probably change that um, that setup. But uh, Mr. Augustine, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Oh, my pleasure, sir. My okay. pleasure. Thank and you for coming into the picture. Thank you for being a very excellent engineer no for this orientation meeting. And thank you for our students who come in for uh, these orientations. I hope, we hope, because Mr. Rosas, that we are able to answer your questions. And we wish you all the best. For your stay here in Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center, uh, the case manager's office is found at room uh, 102. Room 102. We are there to help you. Okay. If you're returning to the building next week, that's where the case managers will be, the ones who are working from the building. Yeah, we have four case managers. We have Carlos Rosas, my handsome friend here, uh, Miss. Haska, Sula Haska, Mr. Patrick Duff, and another uh, friend, another, oh. another very good friend, that is Mr. Um, Karim Nipper. Karim Nipper. Okay. So these are the people who will help you. Okay. And folks, I uh, hope to see you tomorrow at the podcast, 11 15. Uh, again, if you want to get the. Um, ingredients ahead of time i posted them in the chat box so um feel free to cook along with us and um yeah hopefully we'll see you tomorrow hope everybody has a good day yes yes thank you thank you and enjoy the rest of the day <laughs>